Hello YouTube, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. It's a good time today for showing you how to connect a, the mobile app with the Protege GX system, okay? With WX, it's very easy. All you have to do is to hit the IP address or the name of the domain and the port and the username and password you can get in, okay? Um, it's a bit more complicated with GX because you have to basically install some services, which is basically SOAP and the Protege GX web service in order to be able to connect to the web service from the app, okay? So by default, if you install GX, these components are not installed automatically, though in the full package for the GX installer software with SQL, you will see a folder for SOAP and web. There's a, you know, the 64-bit or 32-bit versions we've, we never used, you know, recently. Um, so basically, it's very important, uh, you know, that there is some steps you need to follow before you can actually use the app with a GX system, okay? So quickly, I'm going to show you the steps, okay? Remember, there is a document specifically on installing Prodigy GX SOAP, all right? So, um, but I'll still give you some recommendations on what you need to do first before you can start installing those services, okay? So let's have a look at my system here. The first thing you want to do, really, uh, whether if you're using Windows 10, Windows 11, or a server operating system, make sure that the latest uh, critical updates and also any updates regarding .NET are installed um, because this is a requirement uh, before installing the GX software, SQL, or SOAP, and the web service. Okay, so we've seen recently in some occasions that it's better to install all the latest updates from Microsoft and then you can install your application, okay? For instance, um, you know, with uh, Protege, um, uh, GX and uh, let's say Windows 10, Windows 11, we can see here a list of different uh, prerequisites. So you need to install all of these before installing SOAP, okay? Otherwise, SOAP will not install properly, okay? So this is very important, specifically .NET 3.5 and 4.8, and also several, you know, different features and components under the uh, IIS information uh, services, okay? So quickly you know just follow the steps install them make sure the, the, the server has internet access because sometimes the operating system will need to connect to the internet to download the installer files so you do this first if you miss one of those steps and you install soap you can have to remove soap install the missing component and then reinstall soap okay also when you install the soap service make sure that you match the security um, selection for let's say TLS or no encryption. So basically, you cannot have a mismatch between the GX server software and the SOAP server software, uh, sorry, SOAP service. So if you install GX with TLS 1.2, you must install SOAP with TLS 1.2, okay? It's 1.2, sorry. So in other words, that's very important. You need to prepare the environment before you install the service, okay? Once the SOAP service is installed, you can install the Protege GX web service and then you're ready to test it locally, okay? Always test locally before trying to connect from the internet. You need to confirm everything is working according to plan on the local GX server, and then you know that if there's an issue, maybe the port forwarding rule wasn't done by IT yet or something like that, okay? So remember, I'm gonna show you the address to reach the SOAP, uh, sorry, the pre-GX service. So this is what you must enter inside the app, but replace the local host uh, by the external static IP address of the site or maybe a, a domain name uh, service that you created, okay? So it can be a DDNS, uh, sorry, a DDNS or an IP address. Obviously, the IP must be static if you use the IP address to connect. So it's always IP address and then column, the port number, forward slash, and then protege GX web client. So you need to hit that specific page, otherwise it's not gonna connect, okay? so. In the app, you have the section where you have the ex external IP address and internal IP address. That's very important. If you're on the local network on Wi-Fi, the app will use that route. If you're on the internet via cellular network or at home using Wi-Fi, it's going to use the external IP address, okay? So this is very important. Again, the key aspect in this whole video here is to prepare the GX server with the correct prerequisite and SOAP and the GX service, and then you're ready to connect from the app. Okay, so this was how to prepare a GX server for the app. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, please send them down below. Remember, Inaxis is the proud Canadian distributor of ICT products. Okay, so we have a full team of sales and tech support and, and ordering ready to help you here. So it's, it's always a pleasure to do so, all right? So thanks for watching. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis.